Okay, today's project are dividing mondo grass. So mondo grass is, or monkey grass, or is very close to liripe, its first cousin. These are uh, formerly in the lily family, now separated out, but they're great woodland perennials. Some of them will grow absolutely in, in sun as well as they will in shade. Some run, some clump. Today we're dividing a clumping form, and this is one called solitary man. So we're gonna come in first and we're gonna dig up one clump. Uh, let's get it out of the ground. Wow, it, they like to be in the ground. That's, uh, that's what happens when you have really good soil. Well, we'll figure out how to get it out. If all else fails, get a bigger shovel, but we're, we're there now. All right, so first thing I like to do if you're dividing these in the wintertime, is look for the fruit. The fruit is hidden on these at the base of the plant. And the really neat thing about the fruit is this bright blue. So these will all grow. So you can actually go around your mondo grass this time of year and collect the fruit. Beautiful, beautiful cobalt blue. It's the bluest fruit I'm aware of on any uh, winter hardy plants. And these you can just basically stick right in the ground. They will grow. They really prefer to have a winter chill, so you don't want to sow them inside. Sow them out in a cold frame, and they'll start coming up in spring. All right, so we have our plant up, or almost up. So now we're going to divide that. So at the base, you see we've got lots of little plants. So sometimes you can tease these apart, and I like to use a, a back and forth motion to just pull them apart. So we've taken one clump. And look how many we have. So let's just keep teasing those apart. So we've got now one. Uh, let's see here. Well, we're not going to get too carried away with this. There we are. Two. Three. Now, this one right here, even though it has no foliage, you've got the new growth there. So that will come up and grow. So don't throw that away. That's four. And here are with five six even all of these will grow if you put them in good soil that's the key number seven number eight number nine number ten <coughs> and then we should continue to pull those apart again back and forth motion really brings them apart better so number eleven that's twelve now here all right, so here's an interesting one. This will happen sometimes. You pull it apart, but you, you lose the roots because you're not being careful enough. That will actually grow. Now, what I would do on this is put that and treat that as a cutting. So put a little root and hormone, put that in a pot, and then that'll easily sprout. Probably won't have as much luck if you put that right back in the ground. So we're just going to continue to pull apart. We've got roots on that. There's one for the cuttings. But that will absolutely grow. It's another one with no roots. But again, very easy to get these to grow. So we're in the, that's probably about uh, 12 or 15. So there's another one. Lots of growth there. That'll come up and grow. And you, you can almost just continue to tease them off as small as you want to get. So easily out of this clump, we're going to wind up with about 35, pretty easy. Now, if that's not enough, there's something else you can do. So if you take a, uh, let's just find one right here, all right. All right, there's, there's nothing we can do to really divide that further. That's one division, but there is. If you actually own the Rapis and Ophiopogons, you can come in with a clipper, and let's clip like this, and you can actually clip right there, right up through the middle and then just plant it right back. Or you can take it as a cutting. And that will produce two more. So every one we have now of our 35 plus, you can now divide further, if you're willing to put roots on them, into 70. So from one little clump, we've got at least 70. Now, if we were really careful, we could probably get maybe even up to 100 out of a single clump. So a lot of times we, we would like to be able to afford more plants than our budgets allow. But if you learn propagation techniques, you can take that one plant and turn it into 100 and fill a large area for very little money.